of Santa Cruz Community Farmers Markets Food of the Week. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Sarah. What's your name? My name is Donna. Uh, can you tell me about your farm? Yes. I work for Rodoni Farms and we're located up Highway 1 North of Santa Cruz, just two miles right out of town. We butt up against Wilder Ranch in a lot of areas and we grow right on the coast. So all of these vegetables are grown right next to the ocean. A lot of the vegetables that we grow are certified organic and all of the vegetables here at Farmer's Market today are certified organic. We live in a really fortunate area that we can grow almost year round and I love growing artichokes and pumpkins, peas, and lemons, limes, leeks. We also have beets, but we're really, really well known for our Brussels sprouts, which aren't here today. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite thing about the farmer's markets? The people, the appreciation that people have for the hard work that goes into growing certified organic food. Um, the repeat customers that are always just so grateful for all the hard work that us farmers do. Definitely the people. What kind of artichokes are you selling? Um, today I have a couple different varieties. Uh, the farmer's not releasing all of the seed name just yet, but they are all part of the globe. Not the green globe that everyone's really used to, but the globe. Um, we've been growing uh, different varieties for different years. Violetta's not here today, but it's a very beautiful dark purple artichoke that has long fingernails on it. And then we have um, other varieties, again, crossed with the globe that um, are either Garibaldi or Madrigals. And that's mainly what you'll see here today. Uh. We have all different sizes. We grow from babies to big ones. Big jumbos, we call these big jumbos. And then to a medium size, or sometimes what we call small. Uh, why are artichokes a healthy food choice? Well, they're from the thistle family, so they support a lot of, um, uh, a lot of nutrition in our body that we need. It is a little bit more difficult of a vegetable to get that nutrition out of, but they're very high in um, vitamins D and K niacin and um, they support women actually in their uh, uterine um, reproductive system in a very very um, special way. I would drink the artichoke tea. So when you boil the artichoke it uh, sits in the water for about 45 minutes boiling 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 or steaming and then all this green water is left behind and um, ancient ancient uh, Wisdom has found that if women drink that water, it's very supportive for their reproductive systems. Uh, what are some ways to prepare artichokes? Well, as I mentioned before, a lot of people just tend to boil or steam them. A lot of people will cut them in half and barbecue them or grill them. A lot of people will open the bigger ones up and stuff them like you do a bell pepper. Um, a lot of people like to marinate them. A lot of people have them in their uh, salads marinated and um, hors d'oeuvres marinated. But uh, I think any way you can eat them cold, you can eat them warm. They're delicious. They're actually quite sweet. Uh, thanks for the interview. You're welcome. Thank you, Sarah. You're welcome. Santa Cruz Community Farmers Markets offers a great selection of the freshest organic quality foods, vegetables, fruits, eggs, cheese, pasture-raised meats, as well as artisan ready-to-eat meals from local chefs. We have three year-round markets, downtown, west side, and live oak, as well as two seasonal markets in Scotts Valley and Felton. Come visit us or learn more at www.santacruzfarmersmarket.org. Hope Services Amazing, 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 is all in a day's work. Visit us on the web at www.hopeservices.org. 